We are up for a treat right now. It's Team Maker. From Lakeland, Florida, these are our underdogs of the night. John Kundik and his border collie, Maker. Maker may look cute, but he's a lot more than just a handsome face. My name's John Kundig. I'm 36 years old, and I'm an animal trainer. This is my dog, Maker. He's a four-year-old border collie, and he's the best dog on the planet. Good job, buddy. I needed to get a demonstration dog. So I sought out the smartest dog possible, which would be a border collie. Maker was the obvious choice, being the smartest one in the group. I took him home, immediately started training. By the time he was four months old, Maker had knocked out 20 or 30 tricks, had started nose work. Peanuts, buddy, peanuts. Find those peanuts. Protection work. Oh, nice, buddy. Oh. Agility courses. God. God. Maker's now four years old. He plays 10 sports. He knows 115 tricks. Uh, they range anything from simple sits and downs and, and rollovers to uh, more advanced tricks and sequences, such as parkour. He rebounds off of me, he rebounds off my hands, or rebound off a tree. <laughs> Good boy. One of Maker's favorite tricks is the fakey, also known as the fake pee, and it looks like he's just peeing on anybody I tell him to. While he's here, I'm gonna put as much time in him as I possibly can, because he, he lays it down for me every single day. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank you. You're the nicest boy. <laughs> I see you. I see you. We're gonna be, we're gonna go, don't worry. This underdog here has performed all over the country. How will he perform here in the K-9 Combine is the question. Oof. I almost feel like it's not fair calling Maker an underdog. They do agility, they do obedience, they do detection. This is an impressive team, but they have less experience than police canines who are getting in and out of cars daily. They're our smallest dog in the competition, they're our youngest dog in the competition, and they're our cutest dog in the competition. Uh, a little cockiness coming from Team Maker. Let's see if they can back it up. And they're off. But to automatically advance, they need Load. to beat Duco's Load. time of yes. 2 minutes, 25.26 seconds. Maker, let's go. Come on, buddy, right here. Oh, no. Maker, come on. Maker's inexperience in vehicles on. is costing him Load. time. But Burger Collies are very fast on, and go. very Good smart. Boy. Now Load. he knows what to do, and he's through come the on, other cars let's without go. slowing Good. down. Go Less than 30 seconds even with the slow start there in vehicle one. Pull. That ball has a little too much pull. swing on it, and it's getting hard for him to do it. Pull. John comes in with the assist. Great oh, job. Oh, I had a Border Collie once. They're really smart dogs, so once they get what they're supposed to do, they do it. There's pull. a book called The Intelligence pull. of Dogs, and they actually oh, list Border Collies on, as here, the smartest on. dog in the world. Pull. Good boy. See, Very nice. once you get it figured out as a Border Collie, it's no problem. He can totally do our job. Heading in the high jump there just over hey, a minute. Way, Good boy. They're gonna fly Good right boy. here. Beautiful big once jump, more. Big jump. And the five foot. Good boy. Boom! Maker nice. gets it. And he's going over the rope. Wow! Run. Even without his hammer, John. <laughs> Swim. Whoa! You talked about that <laughs> dog diving experience. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Super Maker. To the finish line they go. They will finish in less than two minutes. Wow! Maker even hits the button. <laughs> They're advancing to round two. How do you think they do? Because civilian dogs don't generally do that well in smelling competition. John puts in so much time with Maker, as we saw in round one. But it's going to be really interesting to see how his nose holds up. All right, to advance to the final round, they've got to find at least two items in less than four minutes, 41 seconds. Unlike other teams tonight, Maker trains with peanut oil, so that's what's used on the items in his run. Let's see if he can roast the competition. Hey, find peanuts, peanuts. Peanuts, find those peanuts. Find those peanuts. Well, right peanuts. there, I see a, a nice hey, sit, right. and it, I don't know dog. if John picked up on that, but that's what I saw. Maybe it's just John Check trying it. to detail a little more for him to actually pinpoint the item, but that, for me, that was a clear alert. Oh, but he picks up the wrong item but it'll be incorrect. So they'll go back inside the luggage room. 45 seconds so far. Check here. And again, going back, he, he knows something's there right there. Again, you saw that stare, that focus from Maker. John easily picked up on it that time. So one item in less than a minute, they're on pace. Next is the bedroom where the scent is on that decorative letter A. Normally I talk about how I love seeing people be cool, calm, I mean, collected in here. I... Maybe in John's case, I wonder, are you being a little bit too cool, calm, and collected? Right there, super focused on that item. I read that as an alert. He looks back at John saying, hey, are you not seeing this? John eventually <laughs> sees it, and that's gonna be his second item in less than a minute, 30 seconds. Find these peanuts, find it, buddy, find it. Now it's on to the living room. And right there. Hey, Baker's doing his job, but John isn't picking up on his alert. Ah, oh, 
uh, he did not pick up on that. I saw that as a clear change of behavior. Unfortunately, John did not read that. And they're going to run out of time. And our underdog team maker has been eliminated.